Hello and welcome to this video, a guide to assist when applying for a resident permit, uploading evidence and common application errors. This video will guide you through the evidence process that is required when making permit applications and renewals. You can apply for a parking permit if you are a resident within Lambeth's controlled parking zones. To be a resident, you must spend a minimum of four nights a week at the property. You can apply for first-time permit and renewals online. Customer renewals can be done up to a month in advance of expiry date. If you park your vehicle on an estate, you will need to apply for an estate parking permit. You may park in a shared use bay for the zone specified to your permit. All estate permits are valid for 12 months. We try to minimise the amount of evidence and frequency of request. When applying online for a parking permit, we will attempt to verify your details electronically. If successful, you will not need to supply any further evidence. Even if you have previously had a permit, you will periodically be asked to provide evidence as circumstances do change. This allows us to prevent fraudulent application and ensure that parking is protected for residents eligible for a parking permit. On payment, your permit is live and you are covered to park in the resident zone. Even after paying for a permit, you may still need to provide evidence. If we do request further evidence to approve your application, you will have 30 days from the date of application to submit your evidence or your permit will be cancelled and no refund due. Please note the person applying for the permit must be named on all documented evidence submitted for us to verify and approve your application. Proof of address must be in the applicant's name and must also state the applicant's Lambeth address as we need to verify the applicant is a Lambeth resident. We require two proofs of address. Vehicle evidence documents must link the vehicle to the property for which the permit has been requested. The vehicle evidence document must show the applicant's name. Please be advised you must submit the correct documents to the correct section of the application to avoid this being rejected. New residents can apply and have full benefits for their permit once paid, providing evidence is submitted within 30 days of application. Please note the person applying for the permit must be named on all documented evidence submitted for us to verify and approve your application. A full list of proof we accept can be found on our website. Foreign registered vehicles will only be issued with a permit for a maximum of six months, as set out by the DVLA guidelines on imported vehicles. In exceptional circumstances, we may consider extending, but we may May require additional documentation. Please ensure all documents are in the applicant's name and list the Lambeth address to prove the applicant is a Lambeth resident. We verify applicant's details against proof of address and vehicle documents provided. These documents must reflect the Lambeth address and show the vehicle is linked to this address. Applicants sometimes submit the insurance certificate instead of the insurance schedule. Insurance certificates will not be accepted as they do not state the full Lambeth address. The insurance schedule must show your name and vehicle registration and must confirm the vehicle is insured to be kept at the CPZ address. You will need to provide the insurance schedule naming yourself as the driver. This will need to be registered to the Lambeth address. If you drive a company car, you will need a signed letter dated within the last three months on letterheaded paper from your company confirming your employment and including your name and address, job title, vehicle, make and registration number. The letter should confirm whether you are the sole user of the vehicle and whether the company owns or leases the vehicle. If the company owns the vehicle, please provide a copy of the vehicle registration document. If the company leases the vehicle, please provide a lease agreement with all of the above information, including the name of the company. The controlled hours for parking base, such as resident bays can be found on the signs within the bay. The first letter stands for controlled zone and the second letter stands for resident. For example, BR is Brixton resident. You must have an active e-permit for the zone you intend to park in. Check your e-permit code matches what is displayed in the time plate. We advise all permit holders to check their online account and familiarise themselves with their e-permit code. We are unable to accept new keeper details and would require the full vehicle registration documents. If you are unable to provide this, you can supply your full insurance schedule. If you find the page not responding during the application, we recommend using Google Chrome as your internet browser. If you encounter any difficulties submitting evidence on your application, you complete an online web form where you can submit your evidence to upload parking permit evidence located on the contact us section of the parking page on our website. For further guidance and to see our full terms and conditions, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.